Today, you are going to do one away and two away another. Uh, in here, I have the iron mass that I have determined in two, in four supplementary, in four dietary pills. Uh, here, I have the iron supplement A, I have the iron supplement B, the iron supplement C, and the iron supplement D. Uh, just, just iron supplements were analyzed with four independent assays. I have used the salicylate assay, the tiocyanide assay, the Prussian blue assay, and the gallic acid assay. Uh, so I have to compare these data sets. The first thing that I want to see if it was uh, any difference between masses determined with the in just supplementary pills. Uh, so I will consider uh, I will consider the the iron mass uh, determined with the four size for ash dietary dietary supplement pill. So I'm going to analyze this data set by one away and of. Uh, once that the new hypothesis is rejected, I will do a post hoc test. Uh, and I can do box plots to illustrate my results. So how, how can I do it? Well, I can do it using Commander. The Commander runs inside the, 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 the app project. Uh, I already opened it in here. In the video description, you are going to find the, the, the spread suite that I have used in this video. And you are going to see the commands and, uh, and instructions to install the commander. Well, the first thing that I have to do when I, uh, the first thing that I have to do in commander, obviously, is to import my data set to the commander. Uh, I have talked a lot about it. Uh, because uh, I believe that much of the people uh, is like me. They have worked their whole life using Microsoft Excel. Uh, so all, all data set they have uh, was in Microsoft Excel. Uh, there's no trouble about that because you can import your data set directly from Microsoft Excel to the commander. You are going to data, import data, and you are going to click in here, import from Excel. Uh, I import with the name data sets. I go to OK, yes. And I open my data set in here. My data set spread suite five. It was imported. The, this spread suite was imported to, to Commander. Now I'm going to work with this data set. The first thing that I want to see is if it was some difference between the masses of iron in just dietary pills. Uh, to do that, I will do one away and off. I will go to statistics, mans, and I am going to one away and over. I am going to select samples and iron mass. Here you have a group variable, and you in here you have a response variable. Uh, I have talked that uh, a response variable is a quantitative variable. For example, uh, you are uh, you are measuring the effect of a pest uh, of 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 a pest seed uh, in a population of, of frogs, uh, and you measure the the eight of these frogs. Uh, for example, uh, eight iron mass is a quantitative measure. It is, it is your response variable. Groups are samples, uh, dietary sample A, B, C, and D. Uh, uh, male, female, it's a group variable. I will do, I, I am going to click in pairwise and Welsh F test notation. I'm going to apply and voila.
let it take a look. Uh, in here, I have my one away and all, alpha, and I have a p-value uh, lower than 0 0.05. So I can understand that my new hypothesis was rejected. Well, what this means? It means that uh, the four dietary pills have different iron masses. Uh, but uh, how different it was? Well, I can compare ash dietary supplement pill iron mass using a post hoc test. The post hoc test that is the full of the commander is the Turkey test. You are going to look right in here, the results for the 2K test. For example, the 2K tests say that dietary supplement B, B and A are different. The dietary supplement C and A were also different. But the iron mass in the supplement D and supplement A was the same. Uh, the iron mass in supplement C and B are the same, and so on. Uh, these results might be summarized in this plot right in here. Look that the, the dietary supplements that they have that have the sum iron mass uh, were between this dashed line. And the, in here you can see supplement B and A were not equivalent. They have different iron mass. The same for supplement C and A, they have different iron mass. But supplement D and A uh, have equivalent iron masses. So, uh, I can reject my new hypothesis and using the post hoc test, that is the 2K test, I can compare ash pair of samples. And I can see equivalences and no equivalences between iron mass in these four dietary supplement pills. Um, now uh, we have done an away another. But you might think, uh, but there is. Uh, might be some interaction between samples and the size. Now, if I, if I want to look to a size and samples at the same time, I have to use a two away another. Uh, how can I do a two away another using Commander? I can go to Commander, I go to Statistics, Mans, and then we go into Mucho away and over. You might think that uh, you can think that uh, in some situations you could have more than two factor groups. Uh, you can do any factors groups that you want in Commander. Now we have now we have just two factors that is the psi and samples, and my response variable that is the iron mass. I will select both. And they go to apply. Okay. And my two away and over has been done. What is what this result shows to me? Uh, the two away and over says to me that their size were not equivalent. Uh, my, you can think that that is the four size do not provide the same results. Uh, samples, you have a p-value lower than 0 0.05. You can say that the iron mass in, in the four dietary iron supplements were not equivalent. And in here, you have the interactions between size and samples. And, samples. and you have a value that is lower to than 0 0.05. So I can see that that então so I can conclude that it was an interaction between a size and the samples. Uh, I can do this with another data set to illustrate this. Uh, in the description of this video, it is a link to for this Speed Suite. Uh, we are going to work with Speed Suite 4. 
Uh, these two speed suites are in my manuscript. Um, this time I have just two iron dietary supplements. I have the supplement V and F. These two supplements have been analyzed using four independent SIs that was the same SIs that I have used in, in the last speed suite. I have the two cyanide SI, the gallic acid SI, the Prussian blue aside and the salicylate aside. I'm going to look for ash dietary supplement in the first place. So I'm going to load this data in my commander. I'm going to commander. I'm going to start, I am going to data, import my data set and go from uh, Excel file. Okay, yes. And then we're going to Speed Suite 4. This Speed Suite was important to my commander. Now, what I go do? First, I am going to Statistic, Mans, One Away, and Over. I will compare the. I am going to compare the assays. For, uh, I am going to compare a size and iron mass. I am going to see, compare the results obtained with the four a size for these two dietary supplement pills. I am going to apply. I have to mark these two and okay. Uh, in here, I have my, my one away and of. I concluded that this four aside do not provide equivalent results. And I compare difference between these assays. Uh, individual differences between the assays were summarized in here using the post hoc test, that is the Tokay test. As you can see, uh, the Prussian blue and the gallic acid assay do not provide equivalent results. But the chelcyanid and the gallic acid assay provided the uh, very similar results. I can illustrate this doing a box plot. I'm going to graphics. I'm going to box plots. Uh, I select in here my, my group of variables that is a size and going to OK. And I'm going to apply. I have my box plots in here, in here and they have the this line is the main values. I can see that these assays do not provide equivalent results. As I observed in the post hoc tests, look, look in here for the post hoc tests and for the one away and over. One away and over. This p value said to me that the four assays do not provide equivalent results. The post hoc test showing here uh, tell to me equivalence and non equivalence between ash assay. Now I can compare the iron mass found in these two dietary pills. Uh, I can do this using statistics going to mass, and I can use an uh, independent sample t test. I'm going to here, uh, I'm going to sample and iron mass, and then we're going to do apply. Uh, the commander provided to me the t-test, and the t-test showed to me that these two, these two iron supplements don't have the same iron mass. I, I can do two graphics, box plots, uh, samples, I have to select the, the plot by to separate my blocks plots by a size or by samples. And they're going to apply. Okay. And then here I have uh, the box plots for dietary supplement F and for the dietary supplement V. I can see that both supplements don't have, have different iron masks. The iron mass found in supplement V is higher than the iron mass found in supplement V. 
uh, I can do uh, independently uh, t test and uh, one away ANOVA. I can do a t test for the two samples and uh, an away ANOVA for the size. However, I cannot compare. However, I cannot compare. Uh, I cannot uh, observe if it was an interaction between a size and samples. Uh, how we can do that? Doing a two away ANOVA, uh, as I have done for the, the Speed Suite 5. So I go to here. I may go into statistics, mass, I may go to multi away ANOVA. I will select a size and samples and okay. In here, I have the, I have the two away ANOVA. I can see that a size provide different results and I can see that both samples have different iron masks, but this value much higher than 0 0.05, show me that is, there is no interaction between samples. This is how I can do one away and two away ANOVA using R Commander. I expect that you have enjoyed it. Uh, in, and I see you in the next video about R Commander. Many thanks for your attention.